So my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. I am here with Paul Harris. Hi, Paul. Uh, what are we doing today? Hi, Bob. Well, this is an exciting moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, we're basically going to do a replication of the Hutchinson. Uh, well, we're, we're, we're going to attempt a replication. We're going to attempt, we? yeah, a, a very um, shiny attempt at it. <laughs> a very shiny sure. attempt. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We've got lots of gear. Okay, so we, so we do around. a gear tour? Yeah, let me come around this side. Okay. So, All right. Yeah. Uh, well, starting on our left here, we've got an old Burdick uh, diathermy machine that uh, runs at 27 uh, megacycles. And they come into the pads here in the, uh, mm -hmm. on our uh, table, uh, ground zero. And... Uh, We've got the Octify set up, with, which is essentially uh, two Therifies running in tandem, uh, two coils, uh, four tubes on each coil. Each pair is 180 degrees uh, out of phase, and the coils are A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. And uh, we've got a lot of an assortment of samples on the table, everything from antimony, lead, uh, okay. granite. Let's have a look. So we have yeah. Um, yeah. You can point the, the, uh, the gnome. Very important gnome. He yeah. seems very relaxed, so he's not worried at all. There's some mushrooms. Uh, must have mushrooms. Um, we have a, a sample of uranite here. Yeah. Pitch blend, yeah. Pitch blend. This is uh, something that John Hutchison had. Uh, he had some uranium ore there. Over there, there's some uranium glass, isn't there? Yeah. So we've got a lot of. Uh, possibilities for some natural emissions of charge clusters. Let's see what we got. And uh, look, look, no yeah, yeah. In there. Look at that, that's pretty good, the uranium We're glass there. Cooking, yeah. <laughs> and the uranite over here, that's 208 for up, those up on the shelf. And this is the uh, uranium ore here. And that's uh, around about, it's going up still. Uh, well, it's just creeping it's up. Gonna it's it's around going. about 1,300 at the moment, so yeah. there's plenty of yeah, keep going, yeah. <laughs> uh, radiation coming off that. And then we have some tin, uh, some aluminium, some magnesium, some lead, some antimony glass. We have a, a lead uh, fishing weight there, more aluminium. What's in there? Silver? Uh, yeah, that's silver, mostly yeah. and lead, so it's galena. Bit of steel uh, over here. We have another bit of mild steel. And over here, courtesy of one Johanna James, we have some of the Sphinx Temple red granite. So those are the things that we have on the sample table. Oh, right? a pendulum. Oh, and we've got the uh, a pendulum. Must have a pendulum. There we go. Pendulum. And um, what what is this thing here? Okay, yeah. Next on the list is our quartz uh, xenon bulb. And... Uh, yeah, that's gonna. We're gonna put some high frequency pulses into that guy. There's a video we already yep, shared, right? Yeah, one but, from but, uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah with yeah. the Cockcroft uh, Walton, which is hiding down here. Sitting down here. Yeah, and there's a little driver circuit here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then next, Van de Graaff's, of course. Oh, yep, Van de Graaff. Yes. Got to have. Uh, this is our small one, about two hundred and fifty thousand volts. Yeah, and that's sitting on the Canadian Lake Fogger, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the Super Fogger there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and just in case, we got a spare one of those if yeah. we need to. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then we've got big, uh, the big one million volt plus. Yeah, here's the million volt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's a nice uh, two and a half inch. Now, actually, Bikes. John had this uh, about 15 feet away, uh, yeah. but we don't have the room in here, but it's right. a less powerful one, so it's about biasing the vacuum. Yeah. So we have one Van de Graaff generator at the back, don't we? Yeah, and one here. yeah. so this to the east and the other way to the west, yeah. Right, and then um, we have, well, the what RF. do we have up the top here? This these... is the magic here. Um, these are RF uh, microwave feed horns, and uh, we can run them uh, up to, what did I write down here? And I figured out one there. We should be able to go between 2 and 13.6 gigahertz on 2 those. and 13.6 gigahertz. And of course, we're running them 180 degrees out of phase. Why are we doing that? Yeah, for the phase conjugation, because 
this is basically Tom Bearden's principle of uh, creating the scalar field that's going to be yeah. in the hot zone. So if zone, I pull back from the there, you can here. see one horn We're there, one, pointing and straight one horn down. there, yeah. and that's going to be firing down. Uh, they're going to have some spread beam, yeah. you can see on the, the uh, horn there on the antenna. Yeah. And uh, we're going to get some field interference here uh, between the 180 degrees out of phase, yeah. phase locked signals. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There is a whole lot of RF going right here. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah. And so essentially our charge cluster sources in theory are the urinate glass, the uh, pitch blend over here, our sparky in the xenon high intensity discharge tube, the radiant, and of course yeah, the huge the number of therifies. Energy. Yeah, really. and we have these uh, the two Van de Graaff generators. Oh, and the three orbs. And the three orbs. We, got, <laughs> we have the we, copper we have charge the accumulator orbs. here, one orb. <laughs> we have one orb over here as a charge accumulator, and over there by uh, there we go. There's the last of the three orbs in our triangular formation. Of course, now what's that under under the table there? Uh, underneath the table is one of the coils uh, from the Therify, and basically we're splitting them off. So uh, those are bifiler uh, Tesla coils. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've basically got a double-ended coil above and below yep. type of thing. Yeah, yes. at 90 degrees again out of phase. So basically the, the sweet spot is again with this utilizing the, the phase conjugation in the the counter space is right in the, in the middle of these. So now having the two of them at 90 degrees out of the phase relationship, we're gonna, our counter space is right in the middle here. So all the magic is is ready to happen right here. And normally a Therify here is used uh, for treatment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Therify is a, sort of a, an electrostatic device that's divine, designed to uh, create a huge, uh, coherent cluster of plasmoids all around your body and uh the good ones yeah the really good ones see the beauty of this scalar uh field and creating scalar fields uh is they can be very destructive or they can be very healing and uh, the therify uses the healing modality of the scalar physics essentially and just like john hutchison we have these aluminium reflecting shields around the workspace and uh, we can see a big shield over here yeah and you and your lovely oh, wife were hiding behind this one over here earlier weren't you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the drivers and the for the therify are drivers, here right yeah yeah therifyofficial.com there you go so if you want to know what these are therifyofficial.com and really this is probably the closest we can get to a replication with what we know. Yeah. Because there are lots we don't know, right. and it was done in a number of different ways, right? Right, or oh, in the date. Oh, in the date. Yeah, yeah. So apparently Joe Parr uh, said there's a couple of auspicious times in which to run these kind of things in his experience over many years. And he found that one of those times was between the 12th and the 16th of uh, December each year. And the maximum speed of the Earth into the ether is on the 18th. So this is the point of acceleration into the ether. So if the ether is relic neutrinos or we have a neutrino sphere around the Earth, this is the time, one of the times in the year where uh, we might get a better effect. And that's why it was chosen. Yeah. And of course, we are here in Canada, relatively near to where John did many of his effects. And so hopefully we can remove the variable of being in the wrong place on planet Earth. And so that is an overview. We will upload this video. Thank you very much for all of your hard work. Yeah, thank you. And for Wyatt's hard work, who's yeah. uh, hiding off camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to start turning things on, right? Oh, yeah. we've missed one thing, haven't we? What was that? Joe Parr also said that the rake uh, oh, the or the angle of the pyramid, when he introduced sound, it seemed to be right. very important for it. And yes. what you have over here. Yeah, we've got a bunch of speakers. We've got a whole big ass array, go. wall of speakers. Yeah. Subwoofer, because we're running at uh, 51.5 <laughs> uh, hertz. 51.5 hertz. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, let's fire some stuff up, All right. right? Let's start with the sound. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Go back to our frequency. 
drivers here. I know it's not very loud for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you might not be able to hear that on, it's fairly low, but uh, we're rumbling right now. We're rumbling Ooh. right now. Okay. So, so where do we start with all the goodies? And maybe here? you should turn on the tubes themselves yeah, rather the than the diaphragm. first, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The tubes first. Let's get that going. Here we go. And then uh, <laughs> you can see our the sparky uh, our over there is going already, already being triggered by the static electricity yeah. that's accumulating in the environment here. Yeah, yeah. The, so, so that's a good sign. That, that, that is a good sign. It's actually able to arc with the available static electricity. Mm -hmm. Yep. Might not want to get the camera too too close. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right. That's okay. going to start fritzing. Should, should we turn on uh, the diathermy next? Well, the, I'm back here. Yeah, there's a dime theory, and then I'll get back here, and then we'll do the big daddy last. Oh, shoot. I didn't notice. I did tap it earlier. Le leave it. Yeah. Let's see if let's it settles leave down. It. Yeah, that, that, let's leave that. Yeah. <laughs> we might be having something going on already. I mean, we, we are having something going on already. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm thinking microwaves next. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go all with those. So what frequency are putting into the microwaves first? Right, okay. So what we've got going here, uh, we're running at uh, 3.15 uh, gigahertz to start. And uh, we're 180 degrees out of phase. So both channels at uh, 3.15 gigs and minus 20 dB. I'm going to plug in the amplifier to your Can't hear anything. first. <laughs> Sitting okay. in front of those speakers. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. So micro microwaves on. And this is when the bulb blows. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting a bit more frisky, isn't it? Okay. RF is on. RF is on. Yeah. No, yeah. No. The bulb's getting pretty frisky. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, it's picking up. Oh, yeah, it's picking up speed. And uh, you'll know when the bulb is on because it, it, it's quite loud. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to dial this right up. 20 dB, minus 20 dB, minus 17. Actually, I'm going to dial it down and bring I'll bring the power of the microwaves up very last but the amps okay. are on we're minus 20 dB on there now so so do you want to turn the back van de Graaff yeah, generator let's on? get the back end going here and uh, I could fire the back one and we'll get the uh, sparky going <laughs> here at the same time so are you ready this is the big one okay back van de Graaff generator going on and the sparky. I gotta go around there. <laughs> okay, BDG, back one on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the big guy. And this is when everything's going to get... Uh, I might go and zoom in the camera a little up there. Yeah. Do and you I'll want... pause this chart channel here. Okay. Before we pull this guy on, do you want to go to wherever you're going to go? You want yeah. to get from that yeah. angle? Um, where are my options for coming past this? Uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, we got a filing cabinet, but I would go like this. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ready? Oh, uh, let's go with the diathermy next. What's that? Let's go with the diathermy next. Okay, diathermy next. Yep.
Tubes are changing color. Very, yeah. very. Change the color on the tube. Very though. interesting. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. It's got a hot, hot pink, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's got a hot pink. That's beautiful. That is getting, uh, whoa. Okay, <laughs> here we go with the big daddy here. Oh, wow. Funny things are, oh, wow. <laughs> um, That's interesting. Yeah. The, the static field there has really messed that up. Yeah. I, I'll stand by the kill switch. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I was getting oh, back up. Speeding up. So the Van de Graaff generator is running. Things are happening. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, I'm going to boost the microwaves a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go and change the camera. 